My name is Ujo Isaac, the manager of Presta Royal Concept, an accounting software company located in Ikeja, Lagos. Today, we will be looking at making payment to vendors. That is what we want to treat in this video. Making payment to vendor, this topic that is surrounded with red marks here. Okay. In order to treat this particular transaction, we look at the right up here. What is the question? The question is on the 20th of January 2020, Ebony Conglomerates paid John C. K. for supplies of first of January with check number 09773 UBA. It means UBA check was issued to John C. K. for the product supply on the first or rather 5th of uh, January. So, therefore, this record have to be posted in C50. I mean, this transaction have to be posted in C50. Let's go to C50. How do we post it? This is how we post it. We go to task again. From the display, you look for payments. This is payments because you are receiving, you are going to pay this very particular vendor. This is a vendor that has supplied goods to you and you want to pay the vendor. You use payment button. This is payment button. Click on payments. When you click on payments, all the respective buttons to operate this very particular window will display. So you click on the vendor ID from the drop down you will look for the name of this particular vendor. The vendor name is what? John C.K. So we look at John C.K. This is John C.K. We click on John C.K. When we click on the name of John C.K., the debt that the company owns to John C.K. will dis display. This is the debt owned to John C.K. Six billion nine fifty thousand. That is the debt. We want to just okay. and this is the due date the date you are to pay the company so the next thing is to pick your check and all the payments information and enter it here the voucher and the payment information and like the check number will be entered here this is the box where you record check slash reference number so what is the check number Let's go to the case study and look at the check number. So this is the check number. Zero. This is the check number. Zero nine seven 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 three three UBA. Zero nine seven 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 zero three UBA. So we go to um, C fifty again. We go to C fifty and enter check number UB. A zero zero nine seven 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 three UBA. Let's let me get the final information there. Yeah, zero nine seven seven three three UBA <coughs> UBA. So this is the check number. You enter it like this. Then the date of the payment, the date on the check. You write it there. Look at it. The date of the check as of this training. For the purpose of this training, we take it as today, which is 18th of May 2023. Then the ledger that the payment will affect, the payment will credit. This is the cash account. Under the cash account, you click on the mirror here. The drop down will display. These are the drop down where you have. The ledger set up before you started posting. So, this is your check now. 
your check is coming out from UBA. So you must tie it with UBA ledger. This is UBA ledger. Because you are writing UBA check for this particular vendor, John CK. It means that you are going to post it against this UBA ledger. You click on it. When you go to your report, you are going to locate this amount on the credit side of UBA ledger that you have in the office. Please, my dear accountants, the ledger we are talking about here is the accountant's ledger in your office. The one you normally record, record manually. But this is not manual now, it is not electronic. So the security also keep it for you the way you, sh you should have kept it when you are using manual. Therefore, you are not looking at the banker's ledger. Please don't be confused. The banker's ledger is different from this very particular ledger here. That is the accountant's ledger. The transaction you find in the banker's, under the credit side of the banker's ledger, you will find it in the debit side, in the accountant's ledger. So it's in the opposite direction. So that is why I'm explaining this. During the course of my training, and students always come up with this, and they are confused. So I have to explain it here, so that you will know what we are talking about. This is your record, not the record of the banks for you. This is your record. You are going to find this posting in your own ledger here, UBA ledger. Look at the UBA current account or current ledger. You are going to find it in this ledger, under the credit side, because you are paying money is leaving UBA. So, when you are doing reconciliation, it means you will locate it in the banker's ledger under the debit side. That is how accounting principles work, the principle of debit and the credit. So, let us go ahead. Now, after you have entered, selected the respective uh, ledger, you come to the payment method. Payment method here, you select check because you are using check. Look at the check you are using. Then you will enter the purpose of this payment. Payment with respect to who? What you what are you paying for? So we now record it. Payment. Payment for goods. Supply from from John C. K. John C. K. Or you can also uh, record it the way you know you can you will easily uh, uh, remember. Or it makes take a lot of minutes for you. C. K. Okay. So after that, you press your tab key. Press the tab key to go to discount. When you press your task key, last the task tab key will lead you to discount column. This time around, there is no discount, so you go to amount paid as sales. But eventually, there is a discount. It's going to be flat figure. The discount value will be entered first before you ent before you enter the final amount here. That is how say fifty dollars is on. So because we are paying. Everything in full, I will click on pay. I will click on pay. I will click on pay. If I click on pay button, you see that the total amount appears under amount paid. So if you do that, you will be having this balance here. Look at it. We have under this very cash account balance of UBA. This is 9.078 million balance as of today. You are posting this very particular transaction. As an accountant, if you are the accountant of your organization and you are also the CFO listening to this training video, this is what you do. When you select the ledger here, which is UBA, first check if you have 
money in your ledger balance you click on this very particular dollar sign and the amount you have there will display which means you have the money that will be able to carry this uh, transaction so that is 6.9 million you can now go ahead so if you did a check and you have less than that particular amount it means that the bank will reject your check draw they will write draw attention needed and this will be a cost they will charge you and your organization for your negligence of not checking your balances of not knowing what you have there so there are a lot of information to be treated here as time goes on so when you have done this you will go to print you can print this transaction you can also save it so for the purpose of this trading i'm going to click on save i will click on save you can see it's already saved and it has disappeared it's already saved and it has disappeared this is how to record full payment to vendors in Sage 50. Please subscribe to this very video. Like and subscribe to this very video so that you will be having more video inf information from us, more video notification and from there you learn every day.